Yo, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So this week in GTA 5 Online is filled with amazing money methods that can easily make anyone millions and millions of dollars very fast. And I'm going to be showing you all of those amazing money methods in this one video. That being said, if you go on to enjoy today's video, please do me a favor by going down below and dropping a like on the video. But without wasting any more time, let's get into the very first money method. All right, so getting into the first money method, we are going to be doing the Acid Lab cell missions because this entire week, they are going to be paying double money and double RP, which is super overpowered. If you want to do this and make an easy $1 million, then the first thing that you want to do is enter inside of the Acid Lab. Once inside your acid lab, now what we need to do is make sure that we have supplies. As you can see right now, I have no sort of supplies whatsoever. So to get supplies, there's two different ways. The first way is by walking up to this corner here inside the acid lab and then clicking right D-pad to source supplies. Just like that, you'll now be inside of a resupply mission getting supplies for the acid lab. And these resupply missions are usually really simple. All you are doing is going over to a location, getting supplies. And once you pick up these supplies, all you then need to do is deliver it back over to your acid lab. The only reason I don't like doing these though is because take a look at how much supplies you get for doing one resupply mission. Only around one bar of supplies which absolutely sucks. So the best way to get supplies and get an entire set of supplies instantly is by walking up to Mutt inside of the acid lab, clicking right d-pad, and then once you click right d-pad you now want to click the buy supplies option. After that, around 5-10 to 10 minutes later, you should then get a text from Mutt saying he got the supplies and once you get that text, you can now go back over to your acid lab to even check and you now should see you have a full set of supplies. Unlike sourcing your supplies though, this way is definitely not free but it is definitely the best and most efficient way to get supplies for the acid lab and you only have to buy supplies twice to get a full set of product. After you get supplies for the business, now what you need to do is walk up to this part inside the acid lab and then click right d-pad to boost the acid production. After you click right d-pad, you'll then be put through a really cool cutscene and after that cutscene, you then should see at the very bottom left that your acid production speed has now been boosted. But just keep in mind, you can only do this once per day. The reason I really love the acid lab though is because all of that stuff that I just showed you to get supplies for the business you can do simply by the phone and all you have to do for this is go over to your contact list and then call Mutt. Once you call Mutt he then should pick up and then give you three options at the very top left. You can source supplies, you can buy supplies, and you can even pause the production. Of course, like I said before though, the source supplies option is not really worth it in my opinion so I really only recommend buying supplies but yeah, you can simply buy supplies from your phone whenever you want to. Anyway, once you have a full set of supplies and you also boosted your acid production, now what you need to do is wait 2-3 to three hours for the product to be completely full inside the business and you also might need to buy supplies one more time after you bought them the first time. Okay, so skipping forward in time, as you can see, my product is now 100% full and this week the acid lab completely full sells for $703,000. To sell it, simply walk up to this corner here where the product is at and now you want to click right d-pad to sell the product. Cell missions with the acid lab business are really easy to do. As you can see, the cell mission that I got right now was the drop off location one. So all I have to do is deliver it over to one drop off, but the first location is usually going to be a fake location. As you can see, once I tried to drop it off, all of these cops instantly spawned in. But don't worry, if you get this and the cops all spawn in, all you have to do is simply drive off of the roof of the location that you are at and just like that you need to lose the cops. Once I lost the cops, all I then had to do after that was deliver over to the real drop off location and once I dropped it off here at the location, I then had to leave the area and once I left the area, here is exactly how much money I got paid. As you can see, I got paid $985,000 for that cell mission and that cell mission took me literally under 6 minutes to complete. So as you saw by my quick guide, the acid lab business is definitely one you should be grinding this entire week while it is paying double money and double RP. And if you would like to see a more in detailed guide going fully over the acid lab business, make sure you click the video that you see on the top right corner of your screen right now. But now let's get into the second money method of today's video. Getting into the second money method, I'm now going to show you how to make $253,000 in only 3 minutes. If you want to do this, all you want to do is come over here to this exact location where I'm at right here on the map, over here at the Pacific Bluffs where this week's HSW time trial is located at. Once you get over here, make sure you call out your fastest HSW vehicle that you own, get inside of it, and then drive it on top of the HSW time trial. And now click right D-pad, but stay still and open up your pause menu. Once you open up your pause menu, now go all the way up here to where the checkpoint is at and simply mark it. Once you've marked it, drop your pause menu, open up your phone, click where it says job list, and now exit out of the time trial just like I did here. 
Whenever you are ready now, click right D-pad to start the time trial and once you start it, all you want to do from here is go all the way down the hill just like normal. Once you're all the way down, you want to now take a left. Do not take a right how it tells you to, you want to make sure you take a left and once you take a left, it now should give you a whole new waypoint to follow. From here, all you want to do is try to go as fast as you possibly can the entire way through, also trying your best to dodge traffic. But luckily, this week's HSW time trial is really simple and there's not really too much traffic to worry about so you should have no issues getting to your destination. But once you do arrive over at the destination and you beat it in time, here is exactly how much money you get once you do beat it to $153,000 exactly as I said in only 3 minutes of simply driving over to a destination. Alright, but now getting into the third money method. This money method is a really good one and any single player in GTA can do it. So if you want to do this money method for yourself, simply open up your pause menu, go over to online, then click jobs, then click play job, then rockstar created, then go down to where it says adversary mode and you want to look for the adversary mode right here called power play because as you can see it's going to be paying double money and double rp this entire week once you start the game mode up now what you want to do is make sure you put the team balancing set to on then go down to where it says first to win and you want to set it to the max amount of rounds you can set it to which for me is seven but for you it might be four rounds anyway once you do that now go down to where it says target score and make sure you set it to 40 kills which is the most kills you can set the target score to if you have never played the power play game mode before i highly recommend you try it out it's honestly one of my favorite game modes in the game because it's literally just a team deathmatch but with special abilities. But the objective inside of this game mode is to simply get kills because every single kill that you get is going to score your team a point and whichever team gets the target score of points first is going to end up winning the entire round. Keep in mind, to take out all of these people to score points is really easy. You can either use one of the normal guns that it provides you with or you can also pick up one of the special abilities that is around the map. And honestly, if I were you, I would go straight for those abilities because those abilities give you a huge advantage against other players inside this game mode. Anyway, cutting straight to it though, here is exactly how much money you get paid every single time you win a round. As you can see, the first place team gets paid just under $15,000 and the second place team, which is the only other place team, gets paid just under $9,000. Anyway, here is exactly how much money I got paid by the end of the entire match. As you can see, I was the match winner. We got paid $336,000. And then take a look at the RP. It's also very insane. 30,000 RP. So yeah, this is definitely a game mode you should be doing if you want to earn a good amount of money and also a really good amount of RP in GTA 5 Online. And the best part about this money method is literally any player can start this up. Okay, but now getting into the fourth money method, I'm now going to show you how to make $101,000 in only two minutes. If you want to do this, all you want to do is come over here to this exact location on the map directly in front of the Fort Zancudo base where this week's regular time trial is located at. Once you get over here, now call out your fastest motorcycle that you own and drive it on top of the time trial. Once you are on top of it, click right D-pad, but stay still and open up your pause menu. Now go all the way down here to where the checkpoint is at and mark it, then drop your pause menu, open up your phone, click where it says job list, and then exit out of the time trial just like I did right here. From here, whenever you are ready, click right D-pad to start the time trial and all you want to do is go all the way across this bridge and do not take a right where it tells you, you actually want to take a left. Once you take a left, now follow exactly where I'm going along this entire road all the way through until you get to this exact point right here. Once you get to this point, you should see a sharp turn now. So what you want to do is take this sharp turn, but do not go around the entire turn. You just want to go exactly where I'm going here all the way up this part of the mountain. And then the rest, there is not really too much explaining to do. All you want to do is basically start climbing up this entire part of the mountain as best as you possibly can and also as fast as you possibly can, trying to get to the very tippity top where the destination is located at. And if you do make it over to the destination in time at the very tippity top of the mountain, here is exactly how much money you get once you beat the time trial. As I said, $101,000 for only under two minutes of simply beating a simple time trial. Okay, but now getting into the fifth and final money method of today's video, I'm now going to be showing you the Fooligan jobs because the Fooligan jobs this entire week are paying double money and double RP. To do these, simply open up your phone, go over to your contact list, and then call Dax. Once Dax picks up, he then should give you two different options at the very top left, request work and then request transportation. The only option you want to click is request work. A few seconds after that call, he then should call you right back and then once he hangs up the phone, you then will be put inside of one of the Fooligan jobs. For the most part, all of these Fooligan jobs are really simple. You're going to get a different one almost every single time, but as you can see, the one that I got right now was simply to go over to this location, take out a whole bunch of people that were guarding this Go Postal van, and then once I took them all out, I then had to get inside the van and then take it over to Los Santos Customs to put an ignition bomb on it. 
Once I did put the bomb on the van, all I then had to do was go over to the lost MC and then deliver the van over to them. Once I did deliver the van over here inside of this building next to this gas tanker, I then had to sneak away and once I snuck away, it was literally as simple as me getting paid my amount of money. Which as you can see, I am now leaving the area inside of my Sparrow and here is exactly how much money I got paid for completing this first Fooligan job and here's how much money you will always get for completing a Fooligan job this week while it is paying double money, as you can see $50,000. Sadly, to do another Fooligan job though, you would have to wait 48 minutes because there is a 48 minute cooldown before you can start the next Fooligan job. So just keep that in mind when doing these Fooligan jobs. Anyway, like I said, that is going to be the last money method of today's video. I hope you all did want to enjoy. If you did and you still haven't already, please do me a favor and go down below and drop a like on the video. And of course, if you haven't already subscribed to my YouTube channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button with notifications turned on. That way you never miss out on another future GTA video just like this one. But until next time, I will see you all in my very next video. Peace.